so hello friends continuing from the previous part of uh, model analysis of 2d plate so in previous part we have done the model analysis and uh, we have seen the uh, result that is uh, the uh, mode one we have uh, uh, found that the frequency is 6.83 and at the last mode the frequency is 351.04 so we have to note it down because we are going to use that frequencies 6.8306 So omega one is six point eight three zero six. It is six point eight three zero six and three five one point three five one point zero four three point five one zero four three five one point zero four okay so the range or domain frequency domain is from 6.8306 to 351.04 okay so now proceed for the frf so we have to go into the step very important module of the abacus the step or we uh, can say that for any fea solver we have to understand the step module very carefully so now i'm going to create one more step uh, first step was uh, initial it is uh, automatically created and we have created second uh, that is model and now i'm going to create the third which is frf analysis okay so we have to create the procedure type as a linear perturbation and uh, we have to check out where it is the steady state dynamics model we have to uh, use that model because we have done the model analysis and we are uh, performing the frequency response function analysis in the same model same model analysis so uh, if you want to do um, the direct steady state dynamics or we uh, can understand uh, we can say that uh, the frequency response function directly so we can use the steady state dynamics direct so I, I have done model on that uh, on the same part and the same model of the abacus so i'm going to use steady state ssd model okay then continue now this is very important phase uh, window has been opened so uh, in the abacus uh, the datas are uh, very uh, very uh, very uh, the change change is very very fast means the displacement uh, uh has increased at very uh, very uh, low difference of frequencies the displacement is very high means uh, uh, if you understand from this that uh, the frequency and displacement curve is like that the very low range of the frequency uh, displacement can change very drastically so we have to take log of the values so we have to use the logarithmic scale okay the lower frequency we have find out the lower frequency was 6.8306 then upper frequency is 351.04 number of points means in the 10 modes we are going to use 20 number of points the bias is uh, nothing but it is the accuracy level we can understand in the later on videos 
so uh, bas, uh, just understand what is bias here uh, that uh, it is related to the accuracy of the mode shapes okay so i'm going to use three and the number of points means number of frequency in between the 10 mode shapes so uh, then uh, i'm going to use 20 number of frequencies now we are going to use the damping in the damping we uh, uh, we assume that the plate is be used for the structural application so i'm going to use the structural and the start mode is uh, select this one start mode is first and end mode is 10th and damping co coefficient is 2% to 10% for the structural components so i'm going to use the very least one that is 2% uh, that means 0 0.02 then okay then we can see that the step has been created for frf steady state dynamic mode now we have to apply the load now the load is But the load will be applied at the center. So we have to indicate that point. This point, this point has to be indicated. So we have to create steps. So I'm going to go for the assembly module and I'm going to create a reference point. So reference point has been created. So we can create the sets here create sets node sets continue then i'm going to find where the center points i think this is the center point right this is the center point select this one then done okay then we go to load create load the load is the point load so point load is defined in the abacus as a concentrated force continue where we are going to apply that force at sets sets we have created that is nodal set continue how much it is it is in the z direction you can see that it will be in z direction but in negative z direction so i'm going to use concentrated force in the third third means the z direction that is minus 1000 newton in ppt i can show you that the force is 1000 newton downward the z direction is upward this is y this is x and z direction is in upward direction okay then 1000 okay so you can see that the force has been applied in this direction that is negative z direction next part is we have to create field output to check out the displacement of every point okay so we once again go to the step and we can see that where is field output so we have to create field output so field output is output for displacement so i'm going to noted uh, uh, renamed it as a displacement and we have to careful about these steps steps is created to be in frf they continue then we have to uh, select the domain as a whole model okay then check where the uh, displacements are there okay select u then okay so the field output has been created 
now we have to go for job creation job you have to create one more job because the, this is the previous job then create job and this job is for frf analysis frf analysis then continue okay submit the model is running let's wait for a second analysis input file processor completed successfully it is taking time still running abacus instead computed successfully okay so there is no error our model has been created come successfully then we can see results now the results will be different from the previous one because we have applied the force so now the case is forced vibration okay so you can see there's a shape has been different now the very important thing is we have to find out its mode shape or uh, displacement frequency diagram you can see its uh, uh, shape at a different different frequencies there will be a lot of frequencies okay I'm not going to check its animated view. I'm going to see its. Okay. This is, uh, we have applied the force. So uh, the legend is showing the stresses. We can check its displacements at a different, different shape, uh, different, different frequencies. So a lot of frequencies are there. Uh, very uh, increment is like one, one second is increment. So the frequency is 114.9 okay so uh, we are not interested in the uh, several frequencies uh, shape uh, at a different different frequency it will have a shape so, but uh, these are not the mode shapes mode shapes will be created at a natural frequency only okay so uh, we have to we have created field output so i'm going to see the field output odb field output continue then uh, here uh, we have to select a unique nodal and then where the displacement displacement we have to check only magnitude because displacement is uh, nothing uh, worry about uh, the direction it means upward displacement or downward displacement the effect will be same for the plate okay so i'm going to check it's only uh, the magnitude then go for elements or nodes node sets we have created mode sets or second one it was where we have applied the force right we are going to find the displacement at which we have applied the force it was set to I think set two. Let me check which one it was. Go to assembly tools set set manager. Set two it was right. Set two. So once again go for uh, visualization module. Then X Y data would be field output unique. A, uh, displacement has been selected magnitude element node set set to we have to select then plot okay 
मिक्सिंग स्टेप्स मिक्सिंग स्टेप्स विथ मोड नंबर ओ मीन्स इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टिंग विद स्टेप्स वी हैव क्रिएटेड इन द मॉडल एनालिसिस ऑल्सो सो वी हैव टू चेक ओनली द एफ आर एफ मॉडल फ्रॉम दिस चेकबॉक्स एक्टिव स्टेप्स ऑफ फ्रेम एक्टिव स्टेप्स ओनली फॉर एफ आर एफ राइट नाउ ओके देन ओके देन प्लॉट now we can see the beautiful graph you can see that at this frequency level the displacement is very high okay and then next frequency natural frequency the displacement is higher then we can see at other natural frequencies the uh, we, what we can say uh, the displacement is high but it is very minimal okay so it is not the uh, area of concern uh, we have to check out where this displacement has been occurred and you can see that the displacement at this frequency is about 20 meter means the failure of the system has been occurred already okay so how uh, we'll check uh, the exact value of displacement and uh, frequency at this point so i'm going to go for tools and query and then we have to select prop values and just take it aside then we can go directly that how much the frequency was you can see that the frequency at this point is 6.831 and this is the first natural frequency where suddenly the displacement has increased up to how much it is 20.319 okay so we have to design the system or 2d plate so that this frequency can be avoided because the resonance has been occurred here at frequency 6.831 okay and because of this resonance the displacement has been increased drastically up to 20.319 meter 20.319 meter displacement for this particular plate is 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 very high and the system has been already failed if this particular frequency created because of that force applied okay so the applied frequency and the natural frequency should not be equal or we can say the uh, the uh, the uh, the minimum frequency should not be equal to the applied frequency applied frequency means the force frequency that we have applied using the force of 1000 newton so this is all about the frf analysis for 2d plate okay i think it is very clear to all that uh, we have to understand what is modal analysis and what is frf analysis there is a, uh, a little bit difference between them but uh, before uh, we we go to the frf analysis we have to uh, uh, perform modal analysis so that we can find out the natural frequencies of the system and we have to avoid that particular natural frequency where the displacement is maximum okay so uh, this could be the uh, assignments for uh, you to perform various experiments uh, computationally so that uh, to change uh, by via changing the uh, via changing the dimensions because we know that the natural frequency is root of k by m k is the stiffness and the m is the mass so if if we want to increase increase this natural frequency so that so that 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 shooting displacement can be avoided because this frequency should be avoided so we have to uh, increase the natural frequency much more high so that we can increase the frequency up to just before this this natural frequency so that our system can be run at a very high vibrations okay so we can increase this natural frequency by increasing stiffness okay so how we can increase the stiffness how if we increase the thickness 
then we can increase the increase the stiffness then we can increase the natural frequency is it okay is it right no because if we increase the thickness the mass will also increases okay so we have to increase the uh, thickness in such a way in such a way the mass will be constant okay how it, uh, this could be possible if we make a hollow section inside okay so that we can reduce the mass also if we reduce the mass then we can increase the natural frequency so we can avoid the resonance or we can avoid the infinite displacement of the system okay so this is the uh, this is all about the frf analysis i hope you can understand the complete analysis through abacus thank you